Are you giving away more money than you should to the government? Have you ever wondered how the Waltons, the Rockefellers, the DuPont families, the Ford families, the rich and famous, how did they pass more money to their heirs? I mean, yes, uh, they did probably make more money than the average American, but the real ticket is they knew the secret. They paid less in taxes than what they needed to. Because the secret with the rich, it's not about how much you make, it's how much you actually get to keep. So let me show you a quick example of this. We are gonna use this dollar bill and make this represent your wages and your retirement you know, throughout your life. I know this is just a hypothetical, it's not a fair illustration, but for the average American out there, we'll say you're married and you guys make average income. Well, the trick is you don't get to keep all that money. You have to pay your taxes while you earn your money. So this dollar bill, really, you don't get the full dollar. You immediately pay, just call it 22% federal tax. You probably have state tax in there as well. So now you're left with a portion and you have to try and pay your bills, your, your mortgage, your groceries, get a vehicle, transportation, whatever. And then whatever you can afford, you try and save. But you don't want to pay more in taxes, so you put it in a tax-deferred vehicle, a traditional IRA, a traditional 401k. And that money grows over time with contributions and with investing in the market. Now, hopefully it's, a, it's grown to a, a nice substantial amount because you were making a middle-of-the-road income. But really, all this money is not yours. You have to pay taxes on this money and if you've done a good job saving and you have a decent lifestyle, chances are you're gonna be paying taxes. Yes, in retirement, sorry. Another 22% federal tax right off the top. Now you'd say, well, I wanna travel, I wanna do all these things, and that's great, but I'd love to pass something to my heirs like all those wealthy families did. Well, if you don't pay the taxes on that money, your children will have to pay the taxes on that money. What they call that is inheritance tax, income respective decedent. So your kids, they're probably at their top er peak earning years and they have to pay taxes. And so the end of the day, what we end up passing to our children ends up being a small or a smaller amount than maybe what it could have been. As you can see, it's way more important to worry about taxes more than just once a year on April 15th or whenever you file your taxes. It's more important to understand that you should be looking at this perhaps as often as you look at your investments or rates of return because taxes play a huge role and it's a hidden secret. But like I said, most people don't know how to do it, nor some of them might even think that this is illegal. Let me tell you, it's not. The fact that you found this video tells me that destiny has brought us together. I've created a tax series, video series, to help train you or educate you on what some of the wealthiest people do to reduce their overall taxes. This video series is called Upsize Your Retirement and Downsize Your Taxes. The great thing about this video series is you can take that information and implement these strategies all by yourself. Or these strategies can just be a starting point for a conversation for you to have with your own advisor. So if you're interested, let's get started. See you on the inside.